takes place two days after. There's a Christmas tree in it, it still counts. So if you didn't see Pixar's newest television short, here's a recap. Oh, I wish that Bonnie would play with me as a dinosaur for once, rather than as a fairy or a disgruntled lunch patron. If we were playing traditional dinosaurs, I would eat you! I'm the running gag in this special. I'm gonna take you to a friend's house! Wow, you got a gaming system and like 500 dinosaur toys! And the gaming system was only three times as much with DLC. Are we gonna make some sort of video games versus traditional toys commentary? Eh, uh, not really. This setup is pretty much as far as we're gonna go with this. That's right! We made Jurassic World look grossly inadequate! What manner of creatures approach us? Wow, who does your voice? Some guy from Grey's Anatomy. Oh. Also this guy from Brave and Batman from the Flashpoint movie. Oh! Something, 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 dark side. Yeah, we get it. Disney owns Star Wars now. I can't seem to stop talking about how riveting I find you. Okay, I know you think that's flattering. It's actually kind of creepy. Oh my gosh, honey, those torpedo launchers are so you. I am not compensating for anything! Is it playtime fun with your kid? Playtime? Kid? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> ah, the amount of graphic violence we can get away with because it's happening to toys! Ah! Hey, we're barely in this special. Oh, I'm sorry, Woody. Was there a single Toy Story installment that didn't worship you? Toy Story of Terror wasn't about me. But you were the one sold for $2,000. And why do you get a weapon? You have karate chop action. Threw them to the Skylock. I mean, ventilation shaft. Forgive them, Bonnie. They know not what they do. Cords. Why did it have to be cords? Is the... Any actual relatable moral here, or are we just saying lines we said earlier to make it seem more cohesive? How about, don't limit yourself to society-designated labels. Keep your mind open to possibilities and experiences. I'm repressing my sentience to become the plaything of a child. Oh, then what the cat said. Joy that you give to others is the joy that comes back to you. Yes, we'll go with that. I do not question how my toys got out of my bag. There is nothing platonic about this scene. Have you noticed that the past two Toy Story specials have had the least stereotypically female-driven narratives out of all of Pixar's stuff? I know. So what's their next movie gonna be? It's about a girl who's controlled by her emotions. Eh, that's still progress for them. Hey, you can have a creative idea that's still related to some not-so-great implications. We'll just see how it turns out. Okay, let's face it, the nitpicks are the easiest things to make comedy out of. This was a fantastic special. It might not have had the same punch as Toy Story of Terror whose mystery and personal stakes were significantly ramped up. It's interesting how they played the delusion toys angle this straight. It was almost a full-on dramatic piece. But I love that they made this a story about Trixie. Next year, I want Run for Prickle Pants. Like, you have no idea how much. Kristen Shaw does great energetic funny characters and Trixie's attitude in this special just fills it with sheer giddy joy. And even if the other characters don't have huge roles, their characters are still fun with great moments. And the Toy Story stories have always had these jumbles of imperfect allegories, but I'm pretty sure not enslaving yourself to perceived societal roles is in here somewhere. But even if it's not, we don't need a clear message as long as the character arcs are complete, and they are. And these toys look like they came right out of the box. All Hundreds of them. Should I be worried about the materialistic lifestyle this series is promoting? Eh. I just love their little stiff movements and their over-the-top toy violence. It's just glorious. I still don't know how I feel about a Toy Story 4. I would rather Pixar stick with original ideas, like they said they were going to. But they have proven they can keep their franchises in character and they still know how to make an entertaining and adorable short. You've had a couple slips recently, Pixar. You have a lot riding on this. But no, we're still all rooting for you. And remember, kids, if you don't play with your toys, they will destroy the rest of your stuff. Be sure to check my Facebook for more holiday specials and good night, Animaniacs!